Hi there, welcome back. I got a question from one of our viewers, uh, Marcelo Thunder, saying, I'm trying to save a basic program to a virtual floppy using an emulator like this one that we have used for a couple of tutorials. And I just uh, download a, a zero byte file. So what I believe Marcelo is doing is first uh, type in a program um, like this, for instance. And now trying to save downloading to local disk. And then this will result indeed in a file with zero bytes. And the thing is in the Apple II, you don't have an operating system that can work with floppy disks shipping with the computer. So you really have to load it using a floppy. Um, you use we, we use DOS 3.3 or ProDOS were the main operating systems of the time. You have first to load this thing. So the way we do this virtually here is we choose system DOS 3.3 master and then we power cycle. So when we boot the computer now, it's going to read the contents of this uh, floppy and then load into memory the, the disk operating system, the DOS. And then we get a prompt. So now on top of the basic commands, we also have the, the disk operating system commands. And one useful command is catalog. And this is the equivalent of dir or ls in modern OSs. It's basically listing the files that we have. You see that the, the virtual LED is glowing red because it's accessing the disk. So these are all files. So the ones with an A as in Apple soft basic are basic programs that you can load from disk. And when we boot the disk master, it actually put uh, some program in memory that uh, shows that screen that you, we just saw and uh, does uh, some uh, magic here. So now that we have the disk operating system loaded, of course, we do not want to, I'm sorry, I mistyping here today a lot. So um, we do not want to save our basic file here together with all these ones. This is the master disk. This is the one with the operating system. So what we would do is we would remove this floppy from the Apple II and we would put a new blank floppy where we're gonna store our programs. So we come here and select blank, blank DOS 3.3. And we don't power cycle the machine because we need the disk operating system to be in memory as it is right now. So if now I do a catalog, we have nothing on this disk, right? Because it's a blank disk. Um, Remember, we still have some things in memory for basic. Uh, we need to clean this with the command new. So now we can start a new program in basic. You see if I list memory is gone. So now I can just uh, have my program here. For instance, could be our uh, text adventure, could be anything. In this case, it's just a hello world. And now, okay, I want to save my program to this virtual floppy. And I do that simply by saying save and then the file name. In this case, I'm going to call it hello. And now if we type catalog properly, we see that our hello program is there. It's of the type uh, AppleSoft Basic and uh, it is uh, two bytes long. So actually, I'm sorry, that's uh, my bad. 
This is not two bytes, this is uh, two sectors of the disk. So now that this is in our virtual floppy, you can do a save disk here and download, and you can just download the .dsk file, and that one is going to have 140 kilobytes because that's the size of a DOS 3.3 floppy disk. Okay, so let's say hypothetically uh, we have uh, done all this and now we want to load our program in a future session of our work. So what we do is, again, we start by loading the operating system. Same procedure. I put in the virtual floppy with the operating system. And then I swap with the file that I saved uh, prior. So you just go and load from your disk the .dsk file that uh, we saved previously and check if your program is there. Yes, it is. And now you do a load hello. And this is going to read your program from the, 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 the virtual floppy and put it in memory. So there we go. This is how we do it. And you see, back in the day, we were using all these actual floppies, these physical floppies, and today it's all virtual, but the principle is still the same. You cannot simply get into your Apple II without loading anything and be able to save something to a floppy. You need to first load the disk operating system. Uh, and then, yeah, you, you can do things like what I have just shown here. So I hope that answers your question and the uh, question of other uh, viewers. And uh, thank you so much and yeah, have a great day.